Hello, this is disassembly video number three. Uh, it will begin with removing the turbine nozzle and it will basically then end with d removing the diffuser assembly which is uh, at the very front of the engine and then in this will also include removing the rotor assembly. So this is getting into the main guts of the engine as you'll see. Uh, basically you use the lift to assist lifting uh, sections apart so we don't uh, have to stand there and hold them and you gotta lift them carefully so they don't drag and scrape. That's kind of interesting <laughs> I was learning. So let's uh, go with it from there and then we'll recap at the end. Thanks. Hope you enjoy. basically like a mirror image on top. It's just a ring. Yeah, and it's just sitting on there. So, uh, there you go. See, uh, I told you if you could get some, something to lift, just like that. Burn a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. All this stuck Got together. It. It's just an engine. It's just an engine. We just bolted together in the dark. Oh, yeah, there's no really combustion. Yeah, so you can tell the damage is right there. The damage you're looking at on the outer ring was from those two I think you can have one of those put back together. Yeah.
Okay, here's a little uh, in, inside view of the uh, J44 with the stator assembly outer housing removed. This is the uh, turbine shaft. These bolts in this flange is where the turbine wheel attaches. Then uh, down here is your impeller assembly. Uh, this would be your compressor, impeller and compressor combination. Uh, back side of it, and this is the com compressor housing. And also, it's all one cast piece, so I, I don't know if you would call this as the front frame of the engine, front bearing, shaft support, accessory housing attaches to it, and it's the housing around the compressor. So, it's a multi purpose one piece. Again, this is a simple, simple jet engine, so at this point, you can see why. Um, you can see that it's got, you know, the good roller bearings, or ball bearings, as far as it spins very freely. But uh, as we get it torn down further, we'll inspect those with our eye to determine uh, how they look and what kind of shape they're in. Of course, the main issue on this engine really is the uh, turbine nozzle, which is totally toasted. So without that, all this is moot anyway. Okay, and then uh, you might be able to take a look down into this shaft, which I guess you can't really see without a light. Oh, silly. It's a hollow all the way to the front. Get this flashlight here, maybe we can... There we go. It's really clean in there. there that is a large nut at the very front. Evidently, that is the uh, actual stub shaft slash hub that protrudes from the front of this rotating assembly. And that is uh, goes into the front bearing, and then there's a spanner nut that is torqued onto the front of that. So, okay, well, we're going to try to get this out of the way and get to the uh, stator, which is over there. That has the uh, combustor liner, combustor lining, liner, combustor assembly, fuel nozzles, all that's there. All right. Okay, I removed uh, all of the oil filler and oil lubricating outlet uh, pieces here, and then I've removed uh, the oil lubricator assembly from inside this housing. This is the, the diffuser housing, which uh, is mounted inside of the cowl. And here's my bag of here's my bag of parts with uh, screws and. Some fittings that I want to keep all together with this. Keep them organized because obviously we have a lot of pieces. And this is nothing compared to a more complex engine. I removed the two mounting screws. This just lifts out. Very simple. It's aluminum cast. And you can see it has a, a stainless steel liner. Looks like something. I don't know. Yes pressed on there, this outer, this rim is pressed over the outside of this cast aluminum housing, but you can see, if I set that down, it's a, um, this area in here is where the oil lubricator is mounted, your inner combustor, combustor inner liner tube attaches here. And this whole area is kind of a quiet zone if you want to say it that way. And you can see here the diffuser uh, vanes and the rushing air from the uh, compressor impeller is discharged through these vanes where it lowers velocity and raises pressure. I believe that's right. Okay, anyway, let me move this out of the way. Set it down. Okay, now I'm starting to get dirty again. Now we have here the front of the combustion chamber or inner or combustion chamber and the fuel manifold. So maybe we can get the camera up here a little closer and zoom down more. I don't know. Let's see. 
there he is. Oh, it's kind of crooked. You have to ignore the Sirius XM radio in the background. That is my entertainment. Okay, there's a look down in to this uh, engine. This is called the stator assembly. It's just really the outer cowling, which is really a lot of the strength of the engine. This supports all the weight at the rear and the house rear bearing and jet nozzle. But uh, inside here, you see the fuel nozzle. Fuel comes in comes in here and then it goes in either direction in a circle it's just basically a big ring and each one of these bosses is where a fuel nozzle is located which is directed into this combustor this is an annular combustor uh, and then this is the combustor inner liner and air is circulated through between the shaft and this inner liner to help cool and keep the heat you know isolated to within this region so what we need to do is, is now remove this combustor inner liner with, by removing these pins. There's lo locating mounting pins and I can remove those bolts, caps, pins and then this whole assembly should lift out. Okay, well there it is. Uh, video number three. We got down to um, the internal parts of the engine and and we'll conclude with uh, disassembling the stator which is the uh, combustion chamber fuel nozzles uh, all that comes out and we get to take the uh, remove the rotor from the front housing and that involves removing uh, that special uh, nut that we had uh, Mark my buddy Mark had to make a socket for a spanner socket well, anyway, so there's a little bit of a cut. I don't really have video of him making the socket, and I don't have video of us taking that nut loose, but uh, I do get the uh, rotor removed from the housing. I do have video of that. So we'll tackle that um, in uh, video number four. Well, I appreciate you watching, and we'll just keep trying to punch these out and get them out here so you can see them. And then I have to start getting things together and uh, so I can start making videos of reassembly. Okay, thanks. Hope you enjoyed.